everybody, welcome back. This week we have Jack in black back here for a spotlight. Um, obviously the market has changed a lot in the past few months, so I just wanted to touch base with some of the realtors that we've had on. Um, Jack is obviously one of the most well-known successful realtors in the area, so it's always great to get his insight on the market in the area. So go ahead and tell us what's up, what's new? It's been interesting to say the least. Um, I think I started saying that last time, but it's always interesting, right? Especially when the market is changing. Um, it's very easy to be excited about things when the wind is at your back, but it's much more difficult when the wind is in your face. <laughs> right. And so obviously we've had rates climbing, we've had sales and prices declining. Um, Sedona's had about a 15% drop in pricing on most homes so far, so far uh, this year since we sort of last talked. Um, and things are slower. I saw a stat the other day that only 8% of agents in the country have sold more than one house this year. Wow, that's crazy. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, I think, I think it's sort of an interesting time because what happens is everybody gets excited about real estate when things are good and then everyone jumps in and then like when the dust settles, when things change, that's sort of, <laughs> you know, the good ones still prosper and the bad ones sort of fall away and, and do other things. So right. I think we're sort of in that stage um, of, the, of the real estate cycle right now. Yeah. So there's obviously more inventory, um, you know, on the market, but rates are higher and, you know, it's just, it's a different market than it was five months ago. So what do you think, what do you think's next? Like, where do you think we're headed? Yeah. So there's always panic because of what happened in 2000 eight in 2007 right um people see prices start to decline and they're like oh my god it's happening again but that is not the case with this like the indicators none of them line up with anything related to 2008. this current you know downturn or whatever part of the cycle is more in line with 2001 um, after the tech bubble and all that so what happened I, I i said this last time we were here but you know rates went up things got stagnant then they ended up cutting rates again and that transition led to the acceleration of the real estate market that eventually led to 2007. But realistically, right now, we're more in the 01 than in an 07, 08 situation. So personally, I feel excited. I think that the election cycle is always a turbulent time. Um, once we get through November, I think we'll, I think we'll see another 5% or so in the next uh, two to three months. And then personally, I think when we turn into the new year, as things sort of transition, that we'll be on an uptick again of, of real estate. And, and everything's down right now. I mean, the stock yeah. market's lost 30 to 40%, depending on your investments this year. Um, you know, again, homes always lag, but 15% is not bad relative. So um, there's some things to sort of still be excited about. And then again, transitioning into the new year, I think things are gonna be looking up. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Well, I'm glad. I think it's always a good thing to stay positive, even when there's so many things going on and interest rates are high and, you know, things feel really tough because the market's down and everything is down. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Like history has proven we can come back and it's not, oh, history doesn't always repeat itself. So just because it looks a little bit like 2007 and eight, it's not going to happen identically to that again. You know, we've set guidelines. We've had different rules now than we did back then. So, you know, I, I really like your opinion that it's not like that and it, it shouldn't be like that again. And, and most people still have equity in their homes. I mean, we, the realistic situation of all of this is that everyone knew this was going to happen. Like this should not be a surprise to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, between inflation, you know, who knows exactly what the percentage is. People t say a certain percentage, but whatever, it's fine. Um, you know, we know that money has lost its value. So you're battling that. Meanwhile, you're battling political problems, wars. I mean, we're battling everything and, and real estate is still managing to hold, hold its value. And the other thing going on right now um, in Sedona is that a, a lot of people are sort of panic listing their homes. Um, I think you, you will go broke trying to buy bottoms and sell tops all the time, right? So a lot of these people missed the top of selling their home mm -hmm. for the maximum value. And now they're panicking because they've seen the drop and they're like, oh my gosh, we need to list this thing. So now there's a lot of homes on the market that are subpar relative to their price. Yeah. And that's why they're not moving. Like in my experience, if you still have quality listings with quality, you know, quality sellers, uh, those are still moving and the market needs some of those quality listings to come back on. Yeah, I agree. I think if you can be realistic about 
the market and about what you're going to list your home at, you won't have a problem selling in this market. But if you're still trying to reach, you know, where we at, where we were a year ago or less than a year ago with insane prices and appraisal waivers, you know, like because nothing was appraising, you won't get that now. So if you could be realistic with yourself, your house will still sell. Yep. It's not going to sit for the 70 day waiting period or yep. more. So on that though, you do have a listing yes. that's pretty huge. And it's the same listing we talked about last time, um, but it's a different market than it was when we listed it. Mm -hmm. So what's so, going on with that? Yeah, so we're still uh, 35.29 acres, um, two houses. One first house is 5,400 square feet. Second house is a guest house that's 900 square feet. Um, five parcels, over a thousand feet of creek frontage, six million gallons of annual water rights allocated to the property personal well, um, everything's off the grid except for electric at the moment, and you could easily do solar on this thing. But we have it listed at 13.75. We have not moved off of our price, and we will not move off of our price. Um, we were looking at comps and stuff, um, <laughs> trying to figure out like where we really stood. And in the history of Sedona, a property like this has only ever sold like five times. Yeah. So we know we have something special, and it's really something to get excited about. Yeah. Um, I just did an e-blast to some of my, my higher end buyers and stuff um, that I've sort of worked with in the past and the response is really good. I mean, everyone knows it's a great property. It's just, especially in a market like this, people might not necessarily have 13, yeah. 13 million I mean, lying even around. in a perfect market, you have to have the right buyer for that. You know, like not your average person's gonna come in and have that many acres and that much maintenance on a house. You know, you have to want that house and you know, make that house <laughs> worth your while. So, yeah. but that, that property is crazy for this area. I mean, to have property on the water like that here is just unreal. I mean, we obviously have a very limited amount of space in Sedona. Like we're not getting more Sedona land. I mean, right. this is it. So properties like this, I mean, they're, it's crazy. I, yeah. I mean, my, my recent sort of sentiment on Sedona's future is that this is going to turn into like the Paradise Valley Scottsdale. And then the surrounding towns like Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Clarkdale, uh, Rimrock are going to turn into like Tempe, Gilbert, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of stuff. I see Sedona yeah. sort of reaching out its fingers into those other places oh, with Sedona awesome. as the center hub of like the high end uh, yeah, properties. I think, and I think the surrounding towns are super getting on board with that. And with, they're awesome. With yeah. the vineyards and all of these wineries opening up and Old Town Cottonwood is just blooming with all of these really wonderful restaurants mm -hmm. and... Um, they have a lot more to offer than they used to. And I think that's great for Sedona because it, not everyone can be here all the time. It's so small. So we need places mm -hmm. that people can still enjoy. And, you know, I, I think that's a great comparison about the Scottsdale thing because yeah. the surrounding towns are awesome. Yeah. Um, but and everyone it, goes to Scottsdale. And, so. and it has to, it has to evolve. Like yeah. realistically, Sedona will never return to what it is. Like it's on the map and Pandora's, <laughs> Pandora's box has been opened. <laughs> yeah. So you like, you can't put it back in. So let's just all work together to sort of create, you know, a, a community that goes from Sedona beyond to, to reach out to the other, the other communities as well. And that, that, that makes me excited personally, um, still living here. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really cool to to have come back and, and you know, we're both here now and it's it's just fun to see as an adult what the town has turned into. And a lot of people who are going to watch this have also been here for 30 or 40 years or have have been here for a really long time or, you know, their parents have been here for a long time and it's they've also seen the evolution of yeah. Sedona. So yeah. a lot of people will get that. But um, that's awesome. Yeah. So what's going on with Jack's? <sighs> Jack's personal life as far as, yeah. you know, we talked business. So I know you have a lot of cool stuff going on going yeah. there as well. So the most exciting thing right now, let me start with this. Um, about, about eight months ago, I guess, a friend of mine introduced me to this thing called Gene Keys. And Gene Keys is semi-similar to a horoscope as like a really basic way of explaining it. But in reality, it's like a cellular map of, of, of you as a human being. And so I did this gene key thing and it realigned me into what my purpose is in, in life. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I love sales. I enjoy selling real estate and meeting new people and stuff. But what I found out from this gene key thing is that my purpose is to assemble a group of people and then help coach them to achieve their goals. And so I have actually just launched a course and the course is a, it's like a real estate sales training course but it goes beyond just how to sell something. It goes into life coaching, you know, lifestyle strategy, all of this stuff. So it's really a life coaching course through sales. And so it's called Apotheosis Real Estate. Um, I launched it about a week ago. Right now I have nine 
people who have subscribed so far. And it is a, it is a subscription service. So there's 25 base lessons um, that, I, that I put together. It has worksheets and video lessons and everything. And then in addition to that, anyone who signs up will also get access to our private members only chat. I'm going to do weekly video uploads. So like every single year, we'll add 52 new videos to the lesson book. So we're starting with 25, then we'll have 77 or whatever, and then it'll keep growing every year. And my goal is to create the greatest library of sales material and life coaching material online ever. Yeah. And so anyone who wants to be a part of this, I'm like super excited. And then in addition, anyone who signs up gets my personal contact info so they can call and text anytime um, as their like personal strategist. Um, where we can work and together. You have uh, all of these things together and people can go and refer back to them mm -hmm. always. Yep. Yeah. Forever. People can, people can go back in and view the video library. The chat will always be there. Um, you can always go back and do the lessons again. Again, you can always text me. Um, and then we also have like a weekly webinar where everyone who's in the community can like sign in and get together. And then we'll have discussions. We'll talk about the market. We'll talk about real estate. We'll talk about strategy. We'll talk about lifestyle, you know, cause like I'm of the belief that no one is good at selling things. Like the reality is they're just great people who people might want to work with. And yeah. so like the basis of this course is to cultivate a really special person outside of a sales environment and then carry yourself into the sales environment where you can create success. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is so great that you have this group of people who can get together weekly and that group of people is just going to grow. Yes as the subscription and you can have lifetime subscriptions mm -hmm. and it's just this group of people and especially for me post covid i miss the sense of community i miss the sense of people and going out and just you know covid was some it was honestly a pretty great time mm -hmm. as well because you get to spend time at home with your family but as far as the world goes it was so closed off and there were so many people who just never left their house. And I think that this is such a great course to get back and you meet new people. You know, you're not coming back into the world just with your same old group and your same old mentality. This is a really awesome course to expand your horizons and do the gene keys and figure out really what you, I took the gene keys and I was shocked at how relevant it was to who I am as a person or how I, you know, even look at myself and look at life in general. But I mean, I think that's a really awesome place to start. And, and you obviously found a whole it's, new light. It's lesson one in the, in the course okay. is the first thing you do is take responsibility for your entire life, all your decisions, everything that's happening to you, it's your responsibility, all of it. And then you do gene keys and that combination of taking responsibility and figuring out what you're meant to do in life is like a really powerful starting point. And the feedback I've gotten from people has been, it, it makes me kind of emotional because it's, it's exactly what I want to do and it's exactly the results that I want to get. And like, yeah. you know, people are like, I was stuck in a rut and this, I can already tell this has gotten me out of it, like even through four lessons, right? And then another guy, you know, he's, a, he's someone I sort of helped mentor from the beginning of his real estate journey. And he purchased the course and he's like, this is the greatest sales course that I've ever seen. And it's really not just sales. I mean, anyone who's looking for a boost in life or some sort of life coaching thing. It's not just a real estate course. It's really, it's really about creating a special, you know, individual yeah. that can go out into the world and be successful. Yeah. And I think in general, even if you're not a salesperson, just having the knowledge of how to do sales or how to put yourself back in the conversation and put yourself back out there is, I mean, that's, those are life lessons yeah. outside of real estate and outside of sales that you can get from, yeah. taking gene keys and mm -hmm. you know taking this course i mean i think that you as a person are extremely influential you are successful and i think that it can be really beneficial to other people to you can you know help them grow yes. and like you know to see where you've gotten because it does take hard work but you could work super hard and be the hardest working person ever but if you don't have someone guide you and someone help you it does take a village mm -hmm. so having a course and a whole community backing you outside of jack i mean you can have his phone number and text him sure but you know if you have not at right now nine other people who are doing the same lessons as you that's that's really cool it's nine other people who are right at the same level as you right so right and it is it is something for for all disciplines and, and walks i guess um like there's people who might be their top producing salesperson i promise there's stuff they'll get out of it and there's people who maybe have no idea what they want to do in life and they're going to get something out of it too. And 
you know, we have nine people right now. My goal is to have a thousand by this time next year. I'd like to have 10,000 in two years and we'll see what happens from there. But that's, those are the current goals. So I'm looking forward to it. Wow, I love that. And I'll also leave the link to his course. Um, highly recommend. Obviously I said at the beginning, he's one of the most well-known successful realtors in this area. And this is a hard area to crack because it's pretty small. It's saturated with realtors and he's doing it. So, um, I think we'll do a discount. Yeah. I think we'll do a discount on the course too oh, for anybody cool. who comes from here too. So, all right. Um, instead of it being, it's usually 300 per year. I think it'll be 115 uh, awesome. a that's, year. That's amazing. Which is pretty good. Yeah. So, and even if you don't stick with it forever, I mean, there's already 25 courses. 26. So, I did a 20, lesson yesterday for the weekly. 26 courses. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's amazing. I mean, that's content that you can have forever and you can refer back to you. You're in a rut in life. Go read lesson seven. I don't know. You know, like <laughs> it, it's it's, pow it's powerful. So I, I definitely recommend just trying it out and yeah. seeing what happens. And again, if you don't like it, you can always cancel your subscription. No problem. But um, from the feedback I've gotten, I think it's going to be something that everyone's going to like. Yeah, I'm super excited for you. I'm excited to see the feedback and it just it just started. So obviously we'll circle back. We'll do a spotlight in a year and see where we're at. You know, hopefully we'll have a lot more people who have subscribed to him and that'd be really cool. Yeah. So, well, thanks. Is there anything else you want to contribute? Want the people to know? Not that I can think of. Okay. I think you did a great job. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks everyone. Hopefully you've made it this far in the video and you got all the good, the good deets. There's going to be a discount code, all the links at the end of the video, Jack's contact, our contact. Um, and obviously all of our videos are always posted on Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube. So you can always check out there for updates. Um, all of that good stuff. So thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Sure. Sure.